Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Marcos once again in financial freedom, investing in stocks. We're going to currently uh, talk about SafeMoon today. I'm a current holder of SafeMoon. I have close to uh, 200 million shares of it. Uh, well, not shares, I'm sorry, tokens of SafeMoon. Uh, we're currently on their homepage. Anybody could look it up here on the internet. It's uh, safemoon.net. Okay. Uh, it's currently presenting price is. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five zeros, a four zero five four. Uh, the whole market has been down overall in the crypto market uh, from everything from Bitcoin all the way down, Ethereum. Uh, everything's been down, but we've been holding pretty solid in this four number. Uh, sometimes we dipped in the three a little bit, but normally we've been holding strong in this four number. So that means we have a solid base right there in this four number. So I think uh, if you guys are going to jump in right now, currently it's the best price you could jump in. Uh, we currently have almost uh, 2,300,000 uh, holders. We just uh, shy of 28,000 more holders to get to that uh, 300,000, the 2,300,000. We have a current supply of 582 trillion tokens still, just over 582 trillion. And a market cap of $2 billion, just over $2 billion, guys, okay? So we're doing pretty good for a brand new token that's been out three months. It came out in March. Uh, uh, they currently are certified by Certic, uh, and also uh, they have uh, they've been uh, Twitter certified. So this is pretty good information. We uh, we're getting a lot of media exposure now. Also, of uh, people talking about Safe Moon. Uh, there's a couple of YouTube videos out there also about Safe Moon. We have an active uh, Twitter page. A Reddit page and a, act, a real active community in, in Facebook also so guys if you guys want to join any of those groups You guys can go right ahead and join them and see what's to talk about Every day there's uh, new stuff to talk about there is a good communities all of them and we have a lot of fun in them Okay, guys, like I said, we have a uh, two point almost 2.3 uh, million holders uh, tokens burn it's been 417 trillion 188 uh, million 844,253 uh, Oh, I'm sorry. I read that wrong. It's 417 trillion 188 billion 844 million 253,882 tokens have been burned so far as liquidity we have 153 uh, million currently Okay uh, we in the coin market uh, cap also you can get information about uh, safe moon there and coin gecko also you get information about there uh, This is the, their website. This is the roadmap. You guys can go over it there. I've been over it before in previous videos Okay, and this is the team which the team uh, is pretty much this uh, they haven't updated yet They currently traveling they in Africa in the Gambia Africa uh, trying to open some positions down there do some business down there Maybe even open an office down there in Africa. Remember. This is just a start It does not mean that safe moon is going to take over the African uh, uh, Monetary system down there, you know, it's not going to take over their currency down there This is just uh, another alternative payment. They might have down there in Gambia, Africa And this is just a start guys. Okay. Remember. This is just a little tiny point in the world where there's uh, hundreds of nations, uh, thousands of cities uh, and towns around the world. that And this is just a start. This is just a little grain of, of sand, okay, guys? Uh, uh, no other token has uh, basically tried this that I know of. Please, anybody that uh, knows of another token or, or cryptocurrency that has done something like this, please let me know in the comments. But I don't think no other token or, or cryptocurrency has tried to put multiple offices around the world in order to conduct business. Because also SafeMoon, uh, other than just making an office down there in Gam by the Gambia, Africa, they're probably going to open a couple of others around in Africa. But they're also going to open an office in the UK, okay guys? This is part of the team. Last week in the AMA, they didn't do one this week because like I said, they're traveling. Uh, last week they said that they hired a couple of other people on uh, onto the team. So basically the team is growing Okay, so that's uh, a lot of positive news there. We're gonna go to BSC scan here uh, I'm gonna tackle something here that a lot of people are going over and calling this uh, token a scam 
which basically nobody really knows is a, if it's a Ponzi scheme or a scam or whatever you want to call it. Uh, only time basically will tell. Me personally, I'm investing in it. I'm not going nowhere. I'm actually putting little by little more money. I'm not a millionaire. Okay, so I just dip in maybe a hundred dollars here and there whenever uh, I see a dip and whenever I can. Okay, I'm gonna be holding long term. I know this is a hold from two, three, four years maybe down the road. If it happens sooner that we could, uh, I'll be able to make some good money. Okay, hallelujah, good. Uh, I might sell some of my positions just to get that that capital out and uh, maybe do some other movements in life. Uh, but currently, this is a long-term hold for me. Two plus years minimum, okay, guys? Uh, now, we're going to go here. Obviously, here it gives you um, some information about the the holders. Uh, almost 2.3 uh, million holders. Uh, the transfers, uh, the, the amount of tokens. And the only reason I see, other than uh, for people calling this token a scam, uh, because honestly, a lot of people just go by what others say. I don't know why they don't do their own research or they don't do their own analysis. Uh, personally, analysis, you know, personal analysis, that's very important. Just because somebody tells you to buy something or sell something, you should not go run out and do it, okay? You should always uh, do your own research, do your own homework, do your own analysis to see if something is worth your investment, okay? Don't, don't just go by somebody telling you to do it or not to do it. This is my analysis. What that's one of the reasons why I think people call it a scam because uh, uh the guy down there in YouTube said, "Oh, it was a scam. Don't invest your money in it." And another reason I think people say this is a, a Ponzi scheme, which right now I consider it it's not a Ponzi scheme because of what's going on. It's because of these main wallets up here. You see that they have over 10 trillion coins. Especially this one up here has 33 trillion. This is the burn wallet up here, which is locked. Uh, okay, the, they call this a Ponzi scheme piece. Obviously, uh, we have a lot of other people here with uh, trillions of coins. They also get the uh, out of the 10% fee that we pay when we buy or sell these uh, Safe Moon tokens. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we get redistribution of 2.5%. Some people say it's 5% we get back. I think it's 2.5. I have to do more research into it. If you guys know the answer, please write it down there in the comments. Let me know. Okay, and I appreciate that information. Uh, the, th uh, the only reason people would call this is a Ponzi scheme is because these accounts here, uh, they uh, right here it says PancakeSwap uh, Safe Moon. So I'm guessing this is a PancakeSwap uh, liquidity pool they have going that 2.5% goes into it. So it looks like it's kind of growing little by little here. I don't know if this uh, account here sells or not. I'm not 100% sure. Normally, uh, the accounts go by a bunch of numbers. This is the only one that says here Pancake Swap Safe Moon because we do buy. Uh, and this one here says uh, Safe Moon Protocol Deployer. So I'm not sure what these accounts are. I don't know if these accounts are maybe uh, usable by maybe the team, which there's no problem with that because obviously these projects. They need money to keep growing. You know, they need money to travel. They need money for better software, for better equipment. They need money to pay wages. They need money to pay themselves, to pay rent, to pay light, to pay water, to put food on the table. So there is nothing bad with uh, the, the creators of this uh, Safe Moon token to have an account here, you know, with a couple of trillion tokens. There's nothing bad about that. Why I say a couple of trillion? Because they do not have... 25% or 50% of the tokens like other tokens do. If you go to other tokens, you see that one wallet is holding 40% to 50% of the tokens. Just one wallet. Okay? It doesn't matter who it is, but they should never be a owner of over 40, 20, not even 25% of tokens should have one owner on it. Okay, guys? So back here to the why I think is a Ponzi scheme. It's because uh, the Ponzi scheme, the way it will work when new investors, like, like even like me, I'm basically, I got in this month in May. Uh, when I put in money, obviously these people here are going to get 2.5% and I'm just one person. And like I said, over time I've purchased over, uh, I have almost 200 million uh, tokens. So out of those 200 million tokens, uh, probably uh, they got the redistribution of 2.5% of that they got back. And that's just from me. 
So basically, uh, they're gonna get by the amount of tokens they have, they get back 2.5 percent. Well, they making they getting free tokens. So out of these free tokens, all they have to do is just sell, and they're gonna keep their overall token count up. All they have to do is just sell the tokens they get by the reflection of the sales of the buying and the sales of other people that are coming in and they making bank you know they making money i'm guessing this is why people call this uh, a ponzi scheme but the thing is that these accounts have been going down this account here was over four percent when i first saw it back like in three weeks ago i think it was something like that it was already over 40 trillion tokens and currently has 33 trillion this one too was in the high 30 trillion and it's 26 trillion so that means these tokens these accounts are going down yes they are selling they are selling tokens which that's a good thing because even if i'm new and only have almost 200 million tokens i'm also getting that 2.5 percent reflection to the amount of tokens i'm holding so every single day i'm getting free tokens what uh without doing nothing in my account every single day I get free tokens because there's always somebody buying or somebody selling. And obviously we need that to burn also tokens because 2.5% of that gets burned that nobody could ever use again. And 2.5% of that goes back into this uh, pancake swap liquidity pool, which like I said before, if the team uses it, it's because they need it in order to progress this project. That's the only reason. The only way... You could have progress in a project if there's an inflow of money and you have capital to do so. So currently, the capital of this pancake swap wallet it's uh, just uh, almost an eighty million and seventy nine million four hundred ninety four thousand dollars. So basically, if this wallet would be used to progress this uh, token, where well, we could count on seventy million dollars, you know, to progress it at the current market price it is. Okay, with seventy million dollars, they could do a lot of stuff in order uh you know to to make this token uh available worldwide giving more marketing giving it more promotion you know hire more people and have give them a salary and all that so mainly keep an eye on these uh wallets here they have been going down they are not going up uh because if it was a ponzi scheme these wallets would be going up or if not they would keep the same amount of tokens and just be selling the free tokens they getting. That's how a Ponzi scheme works. Okay, the top holders get money of the new holders in the bottom. But the difference here is that we all getting tokens. It doesn't matter if you have 10 tokens, that 2.5% is gonna apply to you. They're gonna give you back 2.5%. The only exchange that it's not giving back the tokenomics which is the two, which is the ten percent fee that the two point five percent that goes back to us holders, is uh, I think it's White Bit Exchange. Okay, that's the only one that's not giving the tokenomics back to its holders. So I recommend you guys do not use White Bit. Try to use another, uh, another exchange, another wallet. I use Trust Wallet and I use a uh, Bitmart. I have never had problems with Bitmart or the Trust Wallet. In Trust Wallet, I get my tokenomics every day. In Bitmart, it's every supposedly it's every tenth of the month. So it's once a month. You're gonna get it on the tenth, okay? So what I did, uh, just me personally, in in Bitmart, I have a round number of 80 million uh, tokens. Like this, I know when the tenth comes around, I this I know exactly how many tokens I'm gonna receive. Out of those 80 million tokens I currently have okay like that I know it's working property and I know how much you know free money basically because this is gonna be free money I'm getting back just for holding money uh, just to holding those 80,000 those 80 million shares in Bitmart and trust wallet I have over hundred and fourteen million tokens if I'm not mistaken but that one moves every day so it's very hard to monitor basically how much you making so hopefully I could get a big bump in Bitmart. Like, but once again, like I said, remember, WhiteBit is not participating in the tokenomics. So I do not recommend you buying tokens in WhiteBit. Okay, guys, back to here to the Ponzi scheme. To me personally, I don't think this is a Ponzi scheme. I think this is a, a legit project. Okay, 
we will really never know. Only time will tell, tell you. That's why uh, you should always do your own homework, do your own due diligence, uh, do your own research, uh, do your own analysis personally, and risk and invest at your own risk, okay? And only invest money you're willing to lose, okay? This is a high risk, just like bunch, a lot of other tokens and any other crypto. This is a high risk, high reward opportunity, okay? It doesn't matter if it's Bitcoin, it doesn't matter if it's Ethereum, or it doesn't matter if it's Binance coin, it doesn't matter if it's Pancake Swap coin, it doesn't matter if it's Saymoon. Every single one is a high risk investment with possibly high rewards, okay guys? So, me personally, I don't think there's a Ponzi King because like I said, it is going down. Their overall uh, holdings of the tokens is not going up. So, this is a very positive thing when these tokens go down. This is what we want to see. We do not want to see greed on here with just tokens just going up and up and go up because that will make it really look like a Ponzi scheme. Once again, me personally, I don't think this is a scam or a Ponzi scheme. I think this is 100% legit. A lot of people also uh, think this is a scam because this is new, okay? No other token has done this. Now we have 10, 20, 100 other tokens doing the same exact tokenomics uh, a theme here now, everywhere. Everywhere we see tokens doing the same thing now. But SafeMoon was the first one to implant this system about rewarding the holders. This is just like you having a stock like Pfizer that rewards its holders with dividends. It's just the same exact thing, okay? And Pfizer is not a scam, okay? Just because they're giving back to the community that's willing to invest money in them does not make them a scam, okay, guys? This is my personal opinion. I am not a financial advisor. So to me personally, people could invest this uh safely and with confidence that their money c will be safe in this system this is my personal opinion remember i am holding them i'm not doing this to pump and dump i'm just doing this uh as personal information for you guys if you guys want to watch the video and see some information about safe moon guys okay this is the only reason i'm doing this video just giving you my personal opinion i'm holding tokens i'm going to keep on investing because I think this is a legit project that will get us to that 0 0.01 cents in the near future, okay? Near future, I think by next year, the same date, we might be in that 0 001 to that 0 01 penny if this team keeps doing what it's doing currently and if the burn rate keeps going the way it is. We will be up there, okay, guys? So we're gonna go here to uh right here. This is on the ribbit page. Okay, this was five years ago today. Five years ago today, look at Dogecoin. Dogecoin had three zeros two three. Uh this was five years today on May 29th. Okay, May tw May 29th. They had three zeros in the front. We currently have five zeros in the front. Dogecoin does not have a game plan the way SafeMoon has. Dogecoin is not in Africa looking for partnerships to integrate SafeMoon into the currency of Africa, okay? Which would work uh, essentially like a basically like a, West, a Western Union type of deal that people could transfer from here from the United States down there to Africa, SafeMoon tokens. And in Africa, they could exchange it for their local currency, okay, guys? Dogecoin doesn't have that. Dogecoin is not making a wallet with an exchange on it. Dogecoin does not have a, a, a card coming out that's linked with its wallet. Dogecoin does not have a partnership with Simplex that will be on the website, which will be on the trust wallet when it comes out. That we can buy tokens directly through Simplex. And because SafeMoon has a partnership through the wallet with Simplex to make it a much easier way to buy SafeMoon. None of these, not even Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Dodge, none of them have 
Not even half of what Safe Moon is offering here. None of them. And they've been out for years, okay, guys? I'm talking about they've been out for seven plus years. Safe Moon has only been out for three months, guys. Three months. And look at everything they have done. Look at they're traveling basically around the world to do more partnerships, so open offices, okay? The wallet in June, as I'm mistaken, June 14 or 15. It has a beta trial, okay, for people to start testing out how the wallet is going to work. So this is coming, guys. The wallet is coming with the card attached to it, okay, guys? Obviously, maybe there's going to be a, a limited amount of cards in the beginning to see how it works because overall, security is the main objective here, okay? They have, it has to be 100%. Well, nothing's 100%, but it has to be at least 99.99% .99 secure using that card and using the SafeMoon wallet because nobody want, likes being hacked, nobody likes being taken advantage of, and nobody's here really to lose money to scammers or hackers, okay, guys? So this is the main objective of these beta testing uh, SafeMoon is doing with their wallet, okay, guys? Look at the price range. XRP five years ago was 0056, okay? Dogecoin was 00023. They had three zeros in the front, okay? Bitcoin was worth $526 five years ago. Two months ago, if I'm not mistaken, Bitcoin was in the $60,000 range, okay, guys? This current month, I think it was the first week of this month, Dogecoin hit a high of 72 cents. Dogecoin. With no game plan at all. Safe Moon has the best game plan I've seen in any crypto and any token out here. Safe Moon. Okay, guys? So do your own research. Look into it. Stop hearing these idiots out here saying that Safe Moon is a scam, that Safe Moon is a Ponzi scheme, okay? Let them prove it to you. Where is it is a scam and where is it a Ponzi scheme? I would like to see I would like to see them prove it. Why? Where? Where's their facts? Where are their, where, where is the proof at? Let's ask them that. Where's the proof? Where are the facts? Where are they getting this information and why they think it's a Ponzi scheme or why they think it's a scam? Okay, guys, I just gave you guys my opinion why this is not a scam and I showed you guys why I think it's not a scam or a Ponzi scheme. Okay, guys, we also more information about SafeMoon. SafeMoon currently has a server with Minecraft to develop a game like Minecraft, but it's gonna be called Mooncraft, okay, guys? We already have that server. There are 50 people already beta testing that server with Mooncraft, okay, which is part of the Minecraft game. So we're already in the gaming system. You know, we're already touching that gaming system. Please tell me anybody, which of these tokens here, these five tokens here from Bitcoin all the way to Dogecoin, which one is integrated into a game system? Anybody, please write it down there in the comment. I would like to see it. I would like to find that information, okay? Because I like to speak the truth in my channel here, okay, guys? They, my videos might be a little long, but it's because I speak with details, with proof, and I speak the truth. I do not make videos just for clickbait purposes here, okay, guys? So right now, like I said, the team is a Gambia. Opening business down there, checking for partnerships. They might open an office down there. Next week is going to be a great AMA. Remember, they do M AMAs every Sundays. This Sunday, they didn't do it because they're in Africa. Okay, guys? So next week, I'm looking very forward for this next AMA to see what they got to say, what news they're going to bring to us from down there from Africa, what, they, what were they able to accomplish. Okay, guys? This is the Reddit page, guys. You guys, if you guys have Reddit, just look into them. Safe Moon, okay, guys. Join them. There's always new information coming out here. We're gonna go over to Twitter now, okay, guys. This is another page. You guys can look them up. Uh, Safe Moon on Twitter, okay, guys. The, this is for the holders here. We <laughs> Emerald Hands, baby. Emerald Hands here for uh, for Safe Moon, okay. We went past the Diamond Hands. We stronger than that, okay, guys. What makes it stronger? We got tokenomics on our side, okay? We don't see it, but it's working behind us, okay, guys? It's helping us. It got our back. Tokenomics is making us stronger, and we don't see it, okay, guys? So here we go. 
Let's get back to uh, where we were at. I'm gonna go up the line here. This is the laser eyes. A lot of people getting these laser eyes now to support Safe Moon. Blue, kind of like uh, Turkish blue, I think it is, uh, something like that. We, this is the wallet here. There's a little commercial here for the wallet. Like I, I told you guys, which other token has this wallet coming out? Please put it down there in the comments. I would like to see it. Okay, it got dark mode. You can put it sideways to see the price of Safe Moon. It got a couple of good features. Like I said, Simplex is going to be part of that wallet for the buying of Safe Moon and maybe other cryptocurrencies. Because if I'm not mistaken, hopefully, uh, the wallet will also be a, a, an exchange where you can exchange maybe, uh, you know, uh, money uh transfer over to other cryptos and buy the cryptos including probably maybe even bitcoin through the wallet uh remember it's just a test phase right now the wallet it's getting set up but hopefully uh they're gonna uh like i said they're gonna put exchange in it and we could buy other tokens and hold them in that wallet okay guys currently eight hundred thousand followers Pending 1 million pending safe moon guys come join the team guys. Okay guys 800,000 guys only three months old safe moon Twitter eight over 800,000 followers already guys, okay? Diamond hands Close to 2.3 million holders. Okay guys safe moon three months old almost 2.3 million holders guys it doesn't matter if you have one safe moon or you have a billion safe moon plus or a trillion safe moon. You part of this team, okay, guys? You just guys just get into it before it's too late. That's all you guys gotta do. It doesn't matter if you can afford ten safe moon. If you can afford one safe moon, just get into it. It's it's a start, okay, guys. This is the download trust wallet. We got more videos here about the wallet, how it's gonna work. Uh, it's uh, iPhone only currently. It's uh, it's gonna be in in. Oh, I'm sorry. This isn't the trust wallet. This is uh to acquire Safe Moon through the trust wallet. It's a video detailing how to do it because a lot of people have problems on it. My, my mistake, uh, we already went through the, tr uh, the Safe Moon Trust Wallet down there. We already saw the video. Uh, this is how to acquire Safe Moon. Okay, guys, there's a video here. If you guys go on Twitter, it's very ex uh, it explains to you how to do it. And also on YouTube, there's a lot of videos are explaining to you how to do it. Okay, guys. Uh, it says here the Safe Moon Hard Wallet. Uh, this is another video. This is the, also the, uh, another video of the Safe Moon Wallet. This is the Safe Moon Wallet. Says it has a kind of calculator, has a scanner. You could uh, put it in, in with friends and divide an account uh, with other friends. You know, like a bell or something. Uh, has it says it has a built-in camera with a QR wallet for scanning purposes. Uh, if I if I'm not mistaken, it looked there like if they had a kind. You see right here, like if we have the option like to buy other cryptos, guys. So uh, or what, it might be an exchange also. Okay, guys, we might be able to buy. Uh, it might be a, a similar probably to maybe trust wallet. Okay, guys Yeah, I don't think there's the trust wallet. No, I got trust wallet. It doesn't even look like that But it, it looks similar uh, this part right here. Let me see this next part right here This part looks similar to trust wallet right there. Okay guys when you open trust wallet That's why it appears out right there just like that uh, These are the exchanges right now uh, Remember guys I told you guys that white bit is not part of the tokenomics. This is not doing it so just get into another uh, another exchange, please. Uh, do you got do yourself that favor? Okay, this is right here. This is the beta sign up. This is for the trust wallet. Uh, it's on the six fifteen. Okay, this is next month. Uh, well, this current month right now, while we what two maybe two weeks away for the fifteenth, two two weeks and three days, something like that. Uh, for it could start being uh, data, uh, beta tested. Okay, guys. So they probably already have the, the people who already signed up for it because uh, a lot of people are interested in this, okay, guys? So if you guys want to test it out, just try to sign up. You never know. They might pick you, okay, guys? Uh, this is the they got the card I was speaking of also that they're going to also have a, uh, a card. 
and the card is not going to have fees. Okay, I'm not sure 100% how the card is going to work on transactions. Obviously, the transaction might have a fee uh, the, for the network, but for using the card, uh, let's say maybe if you're going to buy or sell SafeMoon, uh, uh, I guess sell the SafeMoon piece. If you're using the card, you're going to use uh, SafeMoon as a currency. Uh, they're not going to charge you the 10% fee uh, if you're using SafeMoon to purchase something. Uh, this is how uh, what I'm guessing why the card fee is for, okay? I'm not 100% sure how the card is going to actually work with the trust wallet okay uh i'm not sure if you're going to be able to use other cryptocurrencies with the trust with, with the card also linked to your trust wallet uh we just got to see once it comes out and they finish uh all the little details and they test out the trust wallet not the trust wallet the safe moon wallet i'm sorry uh we just got to see how they integrate the card with the safe moon wallet and to see how it works okay guys remember this is new guys this is a stepping stone basically for other cryptocurrencies and, and tokens to uh, uh, follow along, okay guys? That's all it is. This is the first token that's doing this, like I said before. I haven't heard of any other token or cryptocurrency planning on doing this, guys, okay? So, this is basically, this is trial and error. They're going to try to do it. They're going to try to fix it. You know, we might have some issues in the beginning. But remember, these are the first time they're going to try this, okay? Integrate a wallet with a card for it could be used uh, simultaneously, you know, to have just one wallet with your exchange, with all your cryptos, and you could obviously have, uh, you know, the power to use that crypto on a card, okay, guys? Uh, there's some decals here, uh, 2.5 million holders, guys, strong. Tokenomics wins, guys. Uh, this is on Twitter, okay. This is uh, something about the wallet too, okay. That you can split the bill with the uh, you see with the uh, with the app. This is the, the Safe Moon wallet here. Uh, like I said, you guys go to Twitter, go into it, follow uh, Safe Moon. Do me that favor, please, guys. Uh, we need that followership to show everybody to show the world that Safe Moon means business, okay, guys. Uh, more beneath the eyes, okay. They to say here the trust wallet uh, is kind of like a motor. Basically, they put a big uh, black motor there, I'm guessing. And why I think they put a motor in here, because uh, I'm thinking that SafeMoon really, this is their their, their, their powertrain, okay? Uh, everything is going to go based around this trust, this SafeMoon wallet, okay? Everything they're creating in Africa, Gambia, the this Phoenix project, uh, the games, the, the card to be used. The exchange, everything goes around the trust wallet. So you need a big powerhouse. Let's say if it's a good car, you need a big motor under that car to power everything. So maybe this is what they reference to. This is why they have this motor there because this is showing the power that this uh that this wallet, the Safe Moon wallet, is gonna have. And this is gonna go for the long term. Okay, this is gonna out out basically outdo everybody, guys. Okay. Like I said, this is new, guys. This is very motivating. I'm in it for the long term, okay? I'm investing in it. I don't care, and I'm going to keep putting money into it. This is towards Binance because Binance has not listed us, but they did uh, list uh, Shiba Inu, which has less followers, less holders. Uh, they less spoken of. Safe Moon is currently more spoken of, of of everybody, of watchers, has more watchers, like you can see here. Even Dogecoin, we have more watchers than Dogecoin. Now, my personal opinion, why Binance has not gave us the opportunity to be on their exchange, I think uh, we could basically sell, say this, that they might think that Safe Moon is a threat to the, the way Binance is working. Okay, uh, SafeMoon will be direct competition to Binance if SafeMoon has a wallet and an exchange. Okay, plus we're gonna put a cherry on top, and SafeMoon is gonna have a card where you can use everywhere. Okay, so this is basically I think Binance thinks that SafeMoon it might be a threat to them. That's why they haven't put it into Binance because they do not want to fuel this threat that they might think that SafeMoon is to them. Instead of working with SafeMoon, I'm guessing Binance, maybe trying to get some sort of partnership together, 
they basically just trying to close doors on Safe Moon. I don't know why. This is why I think it is. I think they threatened by what Safe Moon has accomplished in such a short time. And they threatened of what Safe Moon is doing with their Safe Moon wallet, with their exchange, and with this card that's coming out. This is just like, will Ford allow Tesla to sell Tesla cars on the Ford dealerships? I really don't think so. I don't think Ford wants that competition, okay guys? So this is basically the same thing. Binance don't want this competition of SafeMoon on their exchange. This is how I'm seeing it. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully Binance will allow SafeMoon to be purchased through the Binance uh, exchange. Like this week might have more holders. But this is how I'm seeing it, guys. Okay, it's my personal opinion. I just think that Binance is a little threatened by SafeMoon and the power that SafeMoon might get. So they don't want to help SafeMoon accomplish uh you know what they want to do what safe wants to do they don't want to help it they don't want to give them a hand they rather close uh its doors on safe moon and say hey safe moon you're on your own i don't want no part of this i'm not going to help you guys out because you guys are a threat to my business that's how i see it okay guys maybe you guys want to tell me in the comments maybe if i'm wrong if i'm thinking like that okay but that's what i think man okay patience patience is key in safe moon okay guys this is not a short-term token. This is a long-term token. It's only been out three months. We have to give it two plus years to actually see what's the capability of Safe Moon, guys. Okay. This is not a shape a short-term play. We will not see it by August Safe Moon reach 0.01. I'm sorry to say it. We might not even see 0.0001. We might not even see that. Okay, by August. Hopefully we do. Hopefully we get to that point zero zero one in August. But I really, I'm nobody could say for sure if yes we might see it or we might see it. I'm just not getting my hopes up. I'm just seeing this as a two plus year play, uh, and like that, I'm relaxed. I'm confident. I keep investing little by little. I don't check it as often. I just let it do its thing. Okay, guys. So, this is another little video here about why SafeMoon has accomplished in such a short time. Uh, this is another video how to uh, acquire SafeMoon, okay guys? Once again, this is the Twitter feed. If you guys want to follow SafeMoon, guys, please go ahead. Help me out here to help us help out the community. Follow SafeMoon. Go back to the homepage, guys. That was all for this video, guys. Remember, this is Marcos, Financial Freedom, Investing in Stocks. Please subscribe to my channel, guys, and I'll keep more videos like this coming out. Leave any comments of, you, of anything you guys would like to see or any uh, information that you guys have for me. I'll greatly appreciate it. Have a nice weekend. See you guys tomorrow.